Hello guys, welcome back. We have the ID cooling, the FX240, the RGB white version. It has 240 millimeters and it promises to have an advanced pump and good cooling performance. Well, I chose this product because it has a great price, a good looking and ID cooling is not bad. I saw a couple of reviews that ID cooling even it uh, performs better than uh, a lot of medium and even high products. So this is the only review on YouTube guys. I hope you will like it and I'm curious to make the difference between this uh, fan cooler that it's also an ID cooling and we will see uh, I didn't put it very good on the main board, I have to say. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of thermal paste, but it's okay. It's okay at the cooling. I want to see if we can obtain better temperatures comparing with uh, the water cooling. Well, I got to tell you that uh, we I achieved temperatures above 95 degrees. And now I want to see if the ID cooling, the water cooling will be with 20 degrees lower but for now let's change this the radiator dimensions are 276 by 120 by 27 millimeters and the patterns inside are almost the same like any manufacturers you will not see the difference the difference are in pump the circulation speed and the some uh, and to be aluminium if it's aluminium the you will not see big differences between premium manufacturers and uh, this let's say medium manufacturers id cooling the patterns mark makes uh, the difference inside the radiator but the patterns and the model inside uh, with this radiator it's almost the same the pump nice level is 25 decibels but guys you will not use it at the maximum speed plate material it's a copper and the pump current 0.36 amps the pump speed it's uh, between 0 and uh, 2500 rotations per minute the radiator guys i got to tell you the water flow it has 116 liters per hour and the fans well uh, the airflow is 76 uh, cfm the noise it's pretty loud 45 decibels but you will not use it you got to think like this and you will not use them permanently at the maximum when you will make the all the settings to the fans and to the pump you will see that uh, will be pretty silent and i guarantee you this when we will mount them the bearing type is hydraulic bearing so uh, and uh, the fans have four pin connectors so guys this is the lj1700 we will mount this to the back of the main board and we'll mount the socket and the new cpu and we have some screws there so these are the fans have some protection material rubber and it's a noise reduction like a noise reduction or a noise vibration attenuator uh so we will do some vibrations when you will mount them on uh, the aluminium radiator and on the pump you will find the uh, pump connector on your main board and we have the fans also uh, the fans connectors that you have to make an intelligent connections between them so guys now i mounted the fans uh, i'm not going to show you the fans are pretty easy to mount them be careful and uh, use the fans to the di direction the air from the case to outside exactly like you see with the image now with uh, those connectors well one fan must go into the other fan the second fan must go into the other fan it's like this the connections and uh, exactly like you see here if you have a port on your main board go and put it to the cpu fan if you see cpu fan put uh, the connectors to the cpu fan and the cpu opt the pump must be into the slot opt and this connector guys you will connect the rgb lights 
you have a special three pin port on your mainboard do not put it into the four pin um, some mainboards have four pin um, and three pin uh, ERGB lights well the four pin has 12 volts the three pin has 5 volts this system works at 5 volts so be careful not to burn your uh, system put into the 5 volts three pin respect the pins and to make a wire management between the mainboard and the case not to be visible now with the ID cooling frost it's I got to say that it's good this paste that came in the box you can put dots and you can put lines but uh, the best way to do this that I saw it's in X in X mode it will cover all your CPU you got to be careful to in this step to cover all the plate of the CPU and not spilling around so are um, some techniques that uh, you will put a dots but it's best to put an X on your CPU I'm, I want to show you exactly an X will cover up all the CPU and plus you can put some dots into the X you can put an extra layers but not that much you see exactly on that on that zones free zones and when you press the cooling block it will spread even and believe me it will spread perfectly even if you will spill a little bit around it will not be a problem because this will not uh, conduct electricity so you will not short circuit so now guys we have mounted the water block we have put the wires uh, discreetly there to not to be visible this is my point and these connectors and be careful it's white so wash your hands before um, these connectors will make the water cooling the cooled liquid as it goes into the radiator the hot liquid not to touch the cool liquid not to influence themselves to be as inefficient as it can so this is the new water cooling you know i reviewed the uh, uh, cooler master and uh, i mounted in 2019 uh, it's quite uh, it's quite uh, noisy so guys this is the final result and you will see how nice and discreet is the management of the wires i didn't have the possibility with the video card to make you so you see this uh, yellow with black wires but i figured it out that it's a possibility to put it inside the video card so let's see that is a argb fan that came with the case and you got to see from the start guys it looks so good the lights are white when you start the computer and then you can set it up with the gigabyte uh, software you see the main board has ARGB lights there and even the video card so this aquarium uh, case is pretty awesome right and I uh, made the button there if you so I can turn on and turn off the ARGB lights from that button on the top of this case it says a LED on that it doesn't say reset so I use that uh, connector to make the connection into the main board to turn on and turn off quickly if I want uh, the ARGB for example I have a projector here in this room and I don't want uh, the lights to be visible so in a touch of a button i can turn off all the lights into the case very quickly not to get into the software and uh, make a lot of settings with a touch of a button turn off the lights and i'm sure i'm going to make a full review how to you can do this guys with the reset button so from the rgb fusion from the gigabyte control center you can turn off the lights and you can use the re rainbow effect and guys i gotta tell you and show you the rainbow effect looks awesome so we have a fan down 
uh, below the video card i have a fan there that pushes somehow the air to the video card and the hot air will go below the case upwards the case and will take out from the case to the top and to the back of this case so it's good thing to have an airflow not the air to be blocked inside be careful as you put more fans than this you can uh, make problems with the airflow so uh, think the airflow to be in one di direction and then not in many directions to be evacuated so cool air from base will be fit inside the case and uh, this id cooling uh, fans will take out the hot air you know the uh, hot air naturally will go upwards well these fans will uh, have a double roll and will take the heat evacuation from the video card and will take also the heat from the cpu this is why it's important to have uh, 240 millimeters and 360 so guys let's see with ida 64 extreme well guys i made the print screen and this print screen it's with uh, i made some video editing and into the video editing only with the cpu not held by a gpu i obtain 99 degrees with and it's very uh, bad and dangerous for the cpu with that fan id cooling fan now i got to tell you and show you how it's in idle with this id cooling and the temperatures are awesome we have 26 27 28 40 degrees maximum in idle let's see cpu burner and with this new it's the same thing as you i will render the firm uh, mark cpu burner will push to the limits the cpu so look guys 64 degrees how awesome is this to obtain more than uh, i think 25 degrees uh, 40 degrees below the difference between a fan cooler and a water cooling i i saw a lot of fan coolers that uh, are even fanless uh, just the blocking radiator bigger big block of a radiator inside of case well i gotta tell you are not that efficient the water cooling i think will stay many years from now because look and not only this id cooling made a terrific job with this and uh, being a fifth generation pump with ceramic bearing you know the pumps are the problem into the water cooling because the pumps deteriorate first and get residuals inside and block themselves and to obtain this temperature i got to say you i'm <laughs> it's a mind blowing for this product that costs uh, somewhere be uh, between $30 and $40 um, it it has a great quality I don't know how long it will take in time but for now I'm amazed by uh, the temperature I got so I got to say guys that I'm glad uh, that I bought this product I think it's a terrific product I wanted to buy Corsair it was $200 it was very expensive and the differences are a, a few degrees uh, lower than this ID cooling so it's not worth it are a few degrees five degrees maximum you will uh, obtain with a premium a premium product I have the gigabyte 790 now I'm standing over the PC and I uh, managed to make the settings and the fans are at 40 percent man i cannot hear them and if you are managing and putting to be at 20 percent for example at the, the 70 degrees to be at 50 percent you will not hear the the fans the pump inside even if uh, i'm putting to high temperatures i cannot hear it the problem that i have is uh, this new elite next 
from the Cooler Master that it's they say it's a quiet power source, but it's a loud power source when loaded. When loaded, you can hear it. And I had big expectations from the Cooler Master being the top leaders and the premium leaders with the Corsair, they are the best and with the other manufacturers but i had a disappointment that at load i can hear it maybe with the time it's not that loud and it's not very loud but it's noticeable i got to tell you this pump in the id cooling i cannot hear it the fans i cannot hear them at 40 percent and at 40 percent believe me into the games if the games are not using the cpu and i think 85 percent of the games are using uh 80 percent the gpu and 20 percent the cpu well with this id cooling you will make the job perfectly thank you for watching guys i recommend you this product it looks cool and it does his job Subscribe that button and like this video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. See you. Bye.